So another person that the people who are running this electronic harassment of me, gang stalking me, torturing me by remote control, by high technology that you know you can see in all my videos, another person that they have tried to frame for being involved in the torture of me is Wayne Kealoe Powell, who is a spiritual teacher of mine. What do they do? They're very high-tech people, and what they do is they they access my memories. It's very high-tech. I can't do this. They spent trillions of dollars. How do you know how much money they spent at the Pentagon developing military technology? This They don't do drone strikes by remote control. Somebody in a trailer in Texas where the U.S. Army or U.S. Air Force flying a drone that's flying half a world away in Yemen and doing, uh, seriously, this super high tech that's in there. So don't kid yourselves. And certainly, do I sound like I got schizophrenia right now? I don't have schizophrenia. I don't have mental problems. I'm electronically harassed, and I have been for years. Why? Because of my politics. I want to change the world. I want to get rid of the 1%. I want to get rid of the whole political economy and what we hear. I want to have a gift economy. I am being the change that I want to see on this planet. Me. I'm using in my mouth over and over again. Charles Eisenstein's book, Sacred Economics, The Gift Economy. has got a roadmap of capitalism. I can't live in this capital, capitalist nightmare and what they pay me and the exorbitant prices that I have here. This is all electronic harassment and I can't talk. So Wayne Kealoe Powell is in my memory bank somewhere. And this high-tech shit, it means surely it's deep state in the USA. Somehow it's related to the Pentagon. Somehow it's got to be Martin Marietta and Raytheon. It's got to be these big companies that make these enormous military hardwares. And now they're, I don't know, they got rogue elements somewhere. Somebody's got a hold of this machine and they've targeted me because they're the one percenters. Hillary Clinton, perhaps, his, her people, somebody who's really, you know, the Hillary Foundation. You got to look up Clinton body clown. I can't tell you again. And when I say that, that's King Clancy, that's one of their fucking electronic devils. And in any event, I can't link the Clinton Foundation to anything criminal. It's all conspiracy theory, and they want to give it that I'm telling you the truth, that telling the truth, I don't know who's doing this to me. But they go into my memories, and they grab a memory of Wayne Kealoe Paul, my spiritual teacher, and then they took his voice, and they beamed it electronically into at me through their software and turned him into an electronic devil. That's what they did. They took a, a voice of a, a, there was an old voice that was always used on, on commercials in Canada, especially for things like beer. And they took an engram of that. It's called an engram, E-N-G-R-A-M, -E engram. And we learned this word a long time ago in the original Star Trek. Uh, there was an episode called The Ultimate Computer. And then uh, the computer scientist, Dr. Daystrom, used his own mind. He took a, a map of his mind, uploaded his mind uh, somehow, and then used that mind of his as the engram for building this supercomputer. It's right there. And that was like 1967. They were thinking about you doing that kind of technology. So this idea is not new. 1967. Are you going to tell me that nobody that works in uh, military hardware development never saw Star Trek and all these advanced technologies that they were showing you with sci-fi? And then, I don't know, 50, more than 50 years later, that now with this stuff is real, has been developed, and now it's actively being used against civilians who are calling for the end of this capitalist nightmare on planet Earth, ruled by 1%. Using mass media, call, you know, mainstream media to go and tell you all kinds of fake news that President Trump said over and over again that they tell you fake fucking news. So anyways, you know, that's the way this works. That's the way it works. And they're just going through all the different people that I've ever met. And, you know, they can access them all. And then they, they do is they just do this horrible, horrible. It's unbelievable, horrific what they're doing to me. Who else has the wherewithal to do this? You can't buy this technology at Radio Shack. This is military technology. Who is enormous governments that have got the money to do this? And who gets paid to do this? Well, somewhere along the line, a military industrial complex has made this. And somebody's targeting me because the 1% don't want to let go of control of this world. 
Isn't it true? We saw the same thing in the Celestine Prophecy movie when the character Jürgen Prochnow played the bad guy and he was a rich son of a bitch. He, he was a big, big, rich guy. And he was actively going against the people who were going into higher consciousness because he knew if everybody went to higher consciousness, it's the end of the rule by the 1%. So, you know, that's basically why all this stuff happens, you know, and whatever's going on. I don't know. Wayne Kiloe Powell. He's a spiritual teacher. Do you think that he's involved with deep, deep state and, you know, that he is uh, spending, I don't know, years with deep state? No, he's not. He's not. But again and again, the people who are doing this electronic harassment are trying to frame other people for what they're doing, because that's what they can do. They can do whatever they want. This has been over five years, every day, me electronically harassed. So you have to take it, you know, everything I say is like, really, when is somebody gonna call the FBI and say, clearly Bob Burroughs is under intense electronic attack? When is somebody, because I'm in Canada, you're gonna call my local police department and Thunder Bay police, and they're gonna say, well, you've been in the nuthouse a few times, your mom keeps sending you there, keeps wanting you to go back. No, seriously, I'm under electronic harassment. My insane mother, Susan Margaret Alice Shaw Burroughs in Thunder Bay, continues, and my father, David Robert Burroughs in Thunder Bay, continue to tell me that I need to go on some kind of a pill. How the fuck can taking some psychiatric pill stop electronic harassment? But that's how insane my parents are. Because they're stupid fuckface people. Beyond stupid. And that's what everybody keeps telling me over and over again. Did I come up with the word fuck phase? No. Where did it come from? The electronic harassment of all the pearls. Do you see how hard it is for me to speak when they do this? Why don't you have some compassion for me, for Christ's sake? What I really need is a bunch of people to ignore a lot of what I have to say when they're taking it too personally. You know, if you're taking it personally that I'm calling you a fuckface when I've been tortured for five fucking years, I mean, seriously, you got emotional problems that you can't say sticks and stones won't break my bones, but my, when I say to my mom, it's like, well, fuck, mom, you know, I've been tortured for five fucking years, and when are you going to wake up with a horror nightmare this is, and then you add on even more fucking horror when you and your, you and my dad and my, my whole family and my, everybody turns against me? Because you all think I'm insane? And meanwhile, there's like so many truckers that are, what, they were all parked in Ottawa against Justin Trudeau because he's a, what, he's the one, he's the New World Order Prime Minister of Canada. And then in America, a huge convoy of truckers are going across the USA to go to Washington to do the same thing because they want to throw out the swamp in Washington. The people have had the biscuit with that. And all these fucking people, Justin Trudeau ordered the cops to go, and what? To tell the Canadian people that he's a fucking dictator. I can't help you out. Why are people going to wake up to the fact that the government is fucking run by evil fucking people? Stop denying it, for Christ's sake. And look at me. It's been, how many fucking videos have I made? Do you think this easy for me to be this? All I keep asking for my mom and dad is I need a place to live and for Christ's sake, I can't do it when I'm under electronic harassment. My parents are fucking devils. They're the worst fucking devils. They're fucking horrible to their only son. A lot of people know Dave Burroughs in Thunder Bay because he was a big boss at Great Lakes Paper. So I want you to go and circulate this because there's a lot of people that need to call Dave Burroughs up at 622-3078-807-622-3078. That's his phone, home phone number. You need to call that number, 807-622-3078. And say, I watched that video of your son asking for help. Dave Burroughs, Susan Burroughs, why won't you help your son? Why can't you see that he's under electronic attack? Why can't you say to yourself, regardless of what the hell else is going, this guy needs somebody to step up and get him a place to live because it's fucking 20 below. It's fucking winter in Thunder Bay. And I got nobody helping me out. What's it going to take for people to look and say this situation has not got any better? And no one is helping Bob Burroughs out. So I want you to call my parents and tell them, give a you need to go and chew their ass. You, whatever you are, you just call them up and you say, I watched that video of your son. When the fuck are you going to step up and be a human being? You got lots of money in the bank. 
When are you going to look after your family? Why do you want to push it off on the government when your family's fucking rich? Because my family is fucking rich. Why do they push it off on the government? And the government, well, maybe, you know, you go through all these hoops all the time. You might get like a thousand bucks a month. How the fuck am I going to live? I get an apartment and live on that fucking a thousand dollars a month. You go fight, you got a disability or whatever. How the fuck am I going to do that? I'm under electronic harassment. I don't have a car. No one's looking after me. I don't have anybody stepping in to help me out. Uh, just go back to the psych ward. How many times have I been there and sent back? It's like that. You can't take a pill. You st My mother is the stupidest fucking, so stupid. Go and take pills. How the fuck is a pill going to stop electronic harassment? It's like, seriously. How st she's beyond stupid, and so is my father. He, he's an engineer. Chemical engineer, and he still can't figure out electronic harassment? She got all that uh, unbelievable... I mean, it's just stupid. Just stupid, 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 stupid. And when, what does it really mean? Heartless. In the end, it's heartless. Inability to open your heart and feel into the situation. And then just with love say, whatever this mess is, this poor man needs to be set up in an apartment somewhere because he has to have a place to live. I mean, no no pill is going to stop electric. I mean, seriously. If you're about to be uh, be under a drone strike, do you think popping you know, uh, some psych medications is going to stop that fucking raptor from coming in and blowing up your house? That's how insane my parents are. They think that popping a couple of psychological pills is going to stop this. Going to stop a drone strike. How the fuck is that going to happen? Over and over, people are incredibly stupid.